discovered something, at least I did. Do you know <laughs> yeah. that we are one degree colder right now? We're 35 here in downtown than we were 24 hours. We were 36 mm. at the same time. Yeah, yesterday. good eye. I'm yeah. impressed. So we're actually a little bit colder right now than we were yesterday. At this time, and then you saw what happened last night. Yeah. And we had that rain move in, and then it just froze on contact. And then early this morning, that freezing rain was just coming down, making for such a yucky commute. Mm -hmm. uh, well, tonight, I don't think we'll have that rain coming in, but we will have to watch out for stuff to refreeze over yeah. in some areas. So we will be keeping a close eye on that. In the meantime, how about this? Take a look at this time lapse from up at Mount Hood Meadows. Uh, and up that that way picking up more snow. Look at this. This was earlier this morning. A good four to six inches of fresh snow up that way, just making for awesome conditions early on. Looking a little bit foggy at this point, but I know a lot of folks up there having a great time with that fresh powder. And of course, it's been nice and cold uh, to keep those conditions very nice up that way as well. 38 degrees here in Portland. Uh, this is from the airport here at PDX. East winds coming in at seven. Feels like it's 33 degrees. So we are above freezing, and most areas are. Uh, we'll have to watch out for some rain to move in over the next few hours. And again, I think temperatures for most of us will be above freezing, so it shouldn't uh, present too many problems. But the farther east you go, uh, where temperatures are a little bit colder, you will want to watch out for some icy spots. And there certainly could be some slick spots in the morning tomorrow. But again, I don't think it'll be as bad as it was this morning or yesterday morning. So definitely getting better out there. Uh, still some spotty stuff happening out along I-84 as you head east from Gresham. But very, very, very light activity there. And then we have some light showers moving in from the south and west. So just really mainly watching those showers as they try to head in our direction to bring in more rain. But it looks like they'll come in early enough that we shouldn't have to worry about freezing rain too much. Now highlighted in pink here as I've zoomed on in, uh, you can see from just about east of Hood River back through the Dalles out along I-84. Uh, we are going to have to watch out for more freezing rain here, uh, picking up about a tenth of an inch of it. So that means there could be that nice glaze uh, on the streets there as we head through the overnight hours. That goes until 4 a.m. tomorrow. Temperature wise out there right now, the Dow's at 32, Hood River at 30. Yesterday we were stuck in the 20s, so we're trying to do this gradual thaw out here. Upper 30s along I 5, Kelso at 37, and of course the coast in the mid to upper 40s. So definitely no worries there. Zooming on into the metro area, Beaverton at 40, Tigard at 40. So much, much better there. 38 for Lake Oswego sliding eastward. Uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 30s and Gresham at 37, Happy Valley at 35, Washougal at 33. So you can see as you go east, there will be those spots that we'll have to watch out for uh, more freezing conditions. Here's how it all tracks out here as we go through this evening and the next couple of days. So here we are 5 p.m. and there's some spotty stuff moving in and that'll try to move in our direction. But a lot of it uh, just fizzles out by the time it gets into the valley. <laughs> That's at 9.30. We go into tomorrow morning, and we're looking at a very dry start. And Wednesday looks mainly dry. In fact, we could get some sunshine going, I think, Wednesday afternoon. And then we go into Wednesday evening, and there will be some showers trying to develop to our south. Most of it stays south of Portland. Uh, but overnight, we will have that potential that we may see a stray shower roll through. Temperatures will be around freezing, so we may have a little bit more brief freezing rain overnight tomorrow night, but it will not amount to much. We'll try to get a little more mountain snow going. Uh, Central Oregon will try to get a little bit of snow going uh, later tomorrow as well. And then we're just staying mainly dry after that all the way into the weekend. Wait till you see the seven day forecast. So your forecast now for the coast tomorrow, slight rain chance, and then we'll get some sunshine going. Highs in the upper 40s with the offshore wind. I 5 temperatures in the low 40s tomorrow, mainly dry with some rain overnight, watching for that freezing rain. Potential. Central and east highs in the low to mid 30s with that rain snow chance. Snow levels at 2,500 feet for the Cascades, sun, and a little bit of more snow, but not a whole lot in the way of accumulation. And then for the gorge, watching out for that potential for a little bit of spotty freezing rain. Seven day forecast here fog early in the morning, partly sunny, dry tomorrow. That slight rain chance tomorrow night. Thursday looks mainly dry. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but we do stay pretty chilly. Temperatures struggling to get out of the upper 30s at night, lows right around the freezing mark. And then we see that next. Rain chance not moving in until next Tuesday. Let's do the quick. How are the dogs doing oh. in the weather report? Sadie, terrible. <laughs> Lucy, terrible. Oh, Ranger's good. <laughs> I let him. I let him go run loose in the snow earlier today, so he had a good. Yeah, he's I got tons of energy, right? Yeah, I think Ranger. less from he's Ranger. Great. All right. Still to come tonight, the crabbing season.